Big Bang. That's how it all started. Or at least that's what scientists have been telling us, but not anymore. The king of cosmology, the Big Bang Theory, is about to be dethroned owing to what has been widely dubbed as the crisis in cosmology. This contemporary crisis is now being increasingly supported by better data from new research, and the new one is contradicting the expanding notion of the universe. It is the view that there was no Big Bang at all. The notion of a cosmic beginning followed by growth is so contradictory that some people never made peace with it. Ever since the Big Bang model, it's always been questioned. New theories have come up, and now it's time to clear up the crisis. So, hold on tight as your entire knowledge of cosmology is about to be changed. About 13.8 billion years ago, the Big Bang happened. This creation theory reigns supreme as the only viable explanation for the history of the universe. It goes with all the available evidence, but the skepticism has always been there. So, the scientists struggled hard to comprehend the fundamental aspects of the cosmos. Subir Sarkar, a professor at the University of Oxford, told the new scientist about the evidence he's discovered that suggests that our ongoing current understanding of cosmology is not true. However, not everyone's views aligns with Sarkar's. He told the science outlet that we are in a very unenviable position in that most of our colleagues don't even want to hear about it. It is known, and as also explained by the cosmological principle, that the cosmos appears to be substantially the same, no matter where we look. However, scientists like Sarkar now believe that our Milky Way moves across space, and it might be interfering with our understanding of the rest of the cosmos. There are certain facts that contradict the Big Bang theory. As we know, the evidence that fits the theory is the expansion of the universe, the formation of the light elements, and the existence of the cosmic microwave background not to mention the evolution of the cosmic web, and so on. However, this evidence is now proving to be challenging. What the Big Bang Theory suggests is that a small number of light elements like lithium and a large amount of helium and also deuterium are formed as a result of the explosion that started everything in the first place. As a result of these new observations, scientists now know that the amount of lithium observed has decreased. The abundances of lithium in old stars in our galaxy has been measured by astronomers, and the Big Bang predictions have not been shown to be correct. They know the stars were generated early in our galaxy's history, and now the lithium content in most of these stars is only 160 lithium atoms per trillion atoms, significantly below the Big Bang predictions. Other than this, if we talk about the larger structures in the universe that scientists have been discovering, the Big Bang Theory states that the universe began perfectly smooth and uniform. The structure begins small and it expands over time. But now, as we gaze further into the cosmos, massive structures have been found that could not be formed during the Big Bang. Another very important prediction made by the theory is about antimatter-matter annihilation. It says that because the Big Bang's strong radiation produced equal amounts of matter and antimatter, mutual annihilation of particle-antiparticle pairs would limit the remaining matter density to roughly 10 to 17 protons per centimeter cubed. The density of matter in the cosmos has been measured to be at least 107 ions per centimeter cubed, which is more than 10 billion times higher than predicted by the Big Bang. The Big Bang theory also requires dark matter, about which we know almost nothing, to account for more than 95% of all energy in existence today. In contrast to this, several lines of evidence, including studies of galaxy motions, show that dark matter doesn't exist. These are just a few of the scientific evidence pieces that contradict the Big Bang Theory's assumptions. And if even just a single one of these basic assumptions are wrong, the question can be raised. Is it possible that the Big Bang never happened? So, scientists came up with multiple alternatives that contradict the Big Bang Theory. One might demonstrate how the universe was actually created. One alternative theory is the steady-state universe. As the name suggests, the theory sides with the view that the universe is constantly expanding with the same overall density. The theory was initially proposed by Sir James Hopwood Johns in 1928 and was further developed in the late 1940s by Armand Bondi, Fred Hoyle, 
and Thomas Gold. They were of the view that the old celestial objects become unobservable as new creations take their place because galaxies, planets, and other forms of matter are trapped in constant recreation and also because the density remains constant. However, this theory was also falsified by the new data. Another contender rose up to challenge the Big Bang Theory and gave the alternative as the bouncing cosmological model, also known as the Big Bounce, or the cyclic universe model. This theory was first propounded by Giuliano Cesar Silva Nueves, who is a researcher at the University of Campinas, Brazil. The model implies that the cosmos is expanding at a rate similar to that of the Big Bang, but it has a rewind function, which accounts for both the expansion and the contraction of the universe. A cyclical universe contracts to its smallest volume and then bounces back into growth. Another possibility is a universe that has only bounced once. The present-day universe was created after an earlier contraction in this one. According to the single bounce idea, the universe as we know it today will continue to expand infinitely. Next, there is the electric universe theory, according to which plasma plays an important part in cosmic events and the underlying organization of the universe. With electric currents flowing along plasma filaments capable of shaping and powering galaxies, these currents flow into the stars, supplying power to them in the same way as fluorescent bulbs do. They induce the birth of planets. The theory was first proposed by physicist Hannes Elfvin in the 1930s, who later won the Nobel Prize for his work in magnetohydrodynamics. He argued that plasma might carry electric currents capable of generating a galactic magnetic field if it inhabited the cosmos. But the electric universe theory lacks proof and even doesn't fulfill the definition of a theory. However, it has gained popularity as a result of a lot of lay scientists looking for a more basic approach to describe the universe. A more implausible theory, known as the black hole origin theory, suggests that the universe emerged from another universe's black hole. We are living beyond the event horizon in this model, according to Indiana University theoretical physicist Nikodem Poplowski. The observable universe is the interior of a black hole that is one of many within a larger parent universe, or a multiverse. If this is true, we can claim that every black hole is a portal to a new universe. However, because we can't cross the event horizon, at least not alive, there's no way to prove or disprove this theory. Last but not least, the simulation theory, which if you're a Matrix fan, you already know this one quite well. Many people in Silicon Valley are intrigued by the prospect of living in a massive simulation, which, if true, appears to surpass all others. But one thing is certain. Our universe was not created by a computer program. If, for instance, we say that something like that might have happened, then we would need a computer capable of computing everything in the universe. And by everything, we mean literally everything. So, to store the data of merely a few electrons, the computer's memory requires more atoms than there are in the entire universe, and the complexity increases exponentially with the addition of just a few more particles. Of all of these alternatives, the Big Bang still remains a valid one for the origin of the universe. No theory can last in empirical sciences forever. Here, it is also important to be honest about how little we know about this infinitely large universe. It is not only possible, but also certain that our knowledge of the Big Bang is incomplete. Dr. Luke A. Barnes, a postdoctoral researcher at Western Sydney University, talks about it in his book, The Cosmic Revolutionary's Handbook, or How to Beat the Big Bang. And he said, the point of the book is that the Big Bang Theory has a solid track record of explaining well-established facts about the universe. If you want to challenge the Big Bang Theory, you'd better be able to explain the basics before you have a shot at explaining mysteries like dark matter. We can say that the Big Bang Theory is incomplete, and maybe in the future, wherever the theories and discoveries lead us, the Big Bang will always be a part of the picture. Let us know in the comment section below where, according to you, the theory stands.